first step before anybody else in the world believes it is you have to believe it. There's no reason to have a plan B because it distracts from plan A. Very simple. This is what I believe and I'm willing to die for it, period. I mean, there are no manuals, no shortcuts, no secrets. You write your own manual, you develop your own shortcuts, you find your own secrets. You go where you're drawn to go and you learn by doing the work. I mean, if you're scared, if it all seems like too daunting, if the, the machinery of it all seems too big and scary and overwhelming, it's great. You wake up in the morning and you do it anyway. Don't get better automatically. You only get better because you intentionally make a decision to get better. You have to go from being a person of good intentions to a person of good actions. That's the great separator. The most important key to achieving great success is to decide upon your goal and then launch. Get started. Take action. Do something. Move. The act of taking the first step is what separates the losers from the winners or the winners from the losers. There are times in life when you're going through a hard time and you think you're going through a test. That's not the test. The test is how do you go through the hard time? And if it's a test that you are designed to fail, how do you handle that failure? Your story is gonna be the greatest story that's ever been told. I'm so glad that you got overweight. I'm so glad that your mindset's all over the place. I'm so glad you haven't been treating the people that you love the greatest. I'm so glad you haven't been working your ass up. I'm glad you haven't changed people's lives or make enough impact yet. I'm glad you got comfortable and complacent because when you change, the story is gonna be that great. The understanding that winners write history, which means that no matter how difficult whatever the season that you're going through is, just win. Like keep going until you win. And then once you win, you can rewrite whatever history you want. And that has gotten me through those harder periods because I just knew that I needed to get through to the other side. You really want something? You're gonna find a way, ultimately. And it might not be today or next year or five years or 10 years, but this thing takes priority and precedent over all other things. When you don't want something as much as you think you do, of course, bro, just like you said, don't nobody wanna live a hard life. We all wanna make life easy for ourselves, for our families, for our mothers, boom, boom, that's amazing. And the thought of that is amazing. It's, sometimes your desire might not be enough fuel you got to have a strong desire. And when you have a strong desire, that outweighs all other shit. You are going to die one day, and every single person whose opinion you're afraid of is also going to die one day, and in 300 years, it's probably not going to matter to people whether you did the thing you said you were going to do, or you let people's opinion beat you into submission. And I got news for you, whether you do it or not, people are going to say it. They're either going to make fun of you for trying, or they're going to say that you had so much potential and you just didn't try in life, or whatever. No matter which direction you go in, it's going to come with some bullshit. You can put up with people's opinions and people's comments and actually do the thing you want to do, or you can put up with people's opinions and people's comments comments and die with regret. What you choose to do with your life, as long as it doesn't harm anyone else, isn't that important to people. Most people are just focused on their own shit, doing their own thing, worried about their own life. So fuck it. There is no guarantees. Even if you work hard, there's no guarantee it's going to work out. I do believe hard work pays off, but no one tells you when. And that's the, that's the, the, the test. Mm. Can you maintain your patience? when you don't know when the end is coming. You don't know when it's gonna pay off. You just believe in yourself, regardless of who, who believes in you. Take ownership. Don't make excuses. Don't blame any other person or any other thing. Get control of your ego. Take ownership of everything in your world, the good and the bad. 
Take ownership of your mistakes. Take ownership of your shortfalls. Take ownership of your problems. And then take ownership of the solutions that will get those problems solved. If it seems impossible, it's even better. You do it anyway. And as you go, like I said, remember that amidst all that machinery, you're the one who's going to make the picture. You and the spark. In the end, they're one and the same. You guard that, because it's precious. Now it's time to get to work. Maybe this chapter of your life is meant for you to do it alone. Maybe this is the time for you to practice independency, to do the things you've always known, but kept putting off for some reason. Maybe this phase is for you to be a little bored and lonely, because it might be what you need as you're putting the pieces back together. It might not be fun, but it's necessary, because in order to evolve into the next version of yourself, you need to find out who you truly are. Everything you do, every choice you make, move you in the direction of what you say your vision is. And when you do that, the forces of life rise up to meet you. The reason why most people have such chaotic lives is because they're living in chaos in their head. And as soon as you get clear, it clears up. You may be in your darkest hour. Know that night don't last forever. There's a morning coming in your life. Stay down till you come up.